Afternoon guys, welcome to my uh, garage stroke workshop. Um, what we've been doing this weekend is fitting the solar panels. Uh, we haven't fit the actual solar panel, the brackets, the wiring that goes inside and the other bits and pieces. So I'll just take you up and show you how we did it and uh, how it's going. Great job. This is the entry point for the two cables. Sick of flexes. Nice and dry now. Just drilled a hole through there. Which one the cables into I just showed you inside. These are the two ends taped up with some rubber for now to protect them. And what I did with the solar panel is all the black brackets are bonded. But to get it perfectly spaced and keep it spaced, I made up this timber frame, which is exactly the same size as a solar panel. It's very light and it keeps all the panels, all the brackets in place while it's all drying. So you've got no worries about anything moving because once it's bonded and if you've moved, you'll never get your solar panel in it. You'll have to take them all off and that would be a nightmare. So once they're all dry, all I did was just lift this out, which left the brackets all in their place. Works well, a dream. I'd highly recommend it, rather than trying to lug the solar panel up here. And no matter how much you line these things up, until that's set, they still move. But this holds them in perfect position. So a little tip we picked up a long time ago and works fantastically. As you can see, he's a bit of a bomb site at the moment, but um, we will get there. This is where we run the two cables from the solar panel in. I'll show you on the roof in a minute. We have to take the cover off. This is where all the air conditioning is above here. But we managed to mouse them from over here, beyond this light, across and down to here. And then very cleverly, we run them from there, down the side pillar, all the way down to the bottom, down there. And then we managed to get them underneath the seat to the MPPT charger. And this is where the cables come down. They came down the pillar into here. And then we managed to pull them out in here. And these are them from the solar panel. So these are the two from the solar panel, very important to mark the live because you will never find it otherwise, which one's live, which one's neutral, so we taped this one. So they come down from the roof, and down here, these are the tray cables, and they go through into the batteries, which are not connected yet obviously, that's the earth, and there's a live down there. So we connect them up, who wants to connect the battery first to the MPPT before the solar? And then we should fire it up. As I say, it's work in progress. And the solar panel is finally in place. It's not screwed yet. And look who else is on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> Fits perfectly. That template I showed you, it just slotted in there brilliantly. That's all I've got to do now is put some screws I'm going to use roofing bolts that's self drilling and self tapping screw them in and that's secure we've just connected it up that's where it goes into the van and uh, I'll show you inside in this corner is where the uh, solar cables come in and they run around into the MPPT charger and then from there, put an inline fuse in between before it goes to the positive on the battery terminals. And obviously the negative goes straight to the negative, which is down there. Battery temperature controller I put in. 
and uh, it all works brilliantly we just switched it on and um, wait a few seconds and then it started getting readings and I'll show you those in a moment but so far it all seems to be working really well and charging our two leisure batteries happy days all that remains to do now is put our cover back across here and connect our aircon hoses back onto the back here and screw that back up put the cover down the pillar down here and then onto that screws a diesel heater controller which will screw back onto there and uh, hopefully everything's okay some people said you didn't need anything solar side of the MPPT but I decided to put on a kill switch just in case you have a need to work on it you can isolate the solar power which is uh, safety for me and uh, we've got to put all this back together now and we'll take it on our first test drive this is our little Bluetooth controller that goes in under the seat and plugs into the charge controller and uh, it works brilliantly, we'll show you in a minute right this is the app, the Bluetooth app which we downloaded from Energy and as you can see you've got the solar coming in and if you press on here it gives you more detailed info solar info voltage battery charging and your DC load what's taking power out your battery at the moment it's a really cloudy day we're only pulling 12 watts but hopefully that will uh, go up once the sunshine comes out if it ever does well once again thanks for watching guys um, if this helped anyone I mean I'm no electrician I know a bit about electrics and stuff but it isn't rocket science if you just research on YouTube go by the instructions a little bit of DIY skills is really good but um, don't be frightened of trying it and just if you are worried get an electrician to check it over once you've done it but I must say it does work extremely well so we're going to go out and do a road test on it in the next week or so and um, if we survive that we shall uh, speak to you in the next one it will be fine darling and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel press the like button and all that sort of thing and help support us along the way and yeah we look forward to the next video don't we yeah like and subscribe please just helps us grow a little bit and we can carry on making videos for you hope you enjoyed it have a nice day bye bye